Hey y'all, it's Mike. Um, I got a Loot Fright Crate um, in the mail this week, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox that. Loot Fright Crate is a subscription service. Uh, with, they have different crates that you can get, and they come out every other month, so it's not like it's a monthly one. I, you get like six a year. Um, overall, I've been pleased with the majority of the stuff that I that we get. Um, of course, I don't like all horror things, so if I don't particularly enjoy it, I usually ship it off to somebody who does. Uh, so we'll see. I do not remember the themes, nor do I remember much else, but that's just me. Alright, so there is a shirt, as always. And, oh, it's Twin Peaks. I used to love that show. I forgot that this was one of the, um, so we got a picture of Twin Peaks. That's uh, Laura, the girl who disappeared, the, who the whole show is basically about. And then on the back it says Twin Peaks 30th anniversary. That's pretty cool. I like that. All right. Oh, the pen. Um, yeah. This pen is pretty cool. I don't know. Some of my uh, witchy girls might like this. I'm not sure. This is... Who is it made by? I don't know. Go to lootcratefrightpens.com. This is the Elder Sign from Almonds. I have no idea really what this is. Um, and they never give us a cheat sheet. Loot Fright, if you're, thinking, if you're listening to me, which I'm sure you're not, give us a, a reminder sheet of the, the stuff that we bought. I'm old. I forget. Especially since it's like two months. Alright, so there's... Hopefully you can see that a little bit better. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I have two boxes and this. Yeah. So y'all might have to help me with this one because I am not really sure what this is. I mean, oh, how funny. It's a, um, is this the exercise? No. Some kind of zombie thing. It's from Warner Brothers Entertainment. Oh, this is the exorcist, yes. It's a little sleep mask, which of course I will never use, and this is also, I don't know if you can see that, let me, the exorcist. So very cool. I kind of like that. That's fun. I love the, um, the Reagan possessed the cat wanting to get in the box. All right, so these two things oh, are from Beetlejuice. This is a juice glass. My friend Lon, who left us um, a while back, back in the 90s, he was my college roommate when I was at Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville. And um, he loved Beetlejuice. He was a huge artist. As a matter of fact, I don't know if I have... I have a lot of his um, stuff that he left me have before he passed away. Um, but he loved Beetlejuice. So this is Beetle Breakfast. Something, I'll never use it, but I'll put it on display because anything Beetlejuice kind of reminds me of Lon. He was hysterical. He uh, he was one of those guys who was a great artist, so he was snide as hell. His humor was hysterical. But he was absolutely the best friend you could ever have. Just miss him so much. And I have a cat that is not sniffing my And then we got a second thing, Beetlejuice. This is a bobblehead. Beetlejuice bobblehead. Alright, let's take a look at this. No, Binks, get out. 
Ugh, cats. One of the cats broke one of my favorite little um, things, little Boston Terrier things. Knock it off by knocking it off of my desk yesterday, and I had it tucked way back. But, oh well. All right, so this is Beetlejuice as a snake. Yeah, it's too funny. All right, so yeah, that'll go on display too. As a matter of fact, I'm not even gonna put it in the box. All right, guys, so that is it for this month's fright loot fright crate. It's pretty good. Like this one quite a bit. Love the shirt. Love the the Beetlejuice stuff. Um, I do have a couple movie reviews dropping here this week. I may even try to do them now while I have a quiet minute in this crazy house of mine. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think below of this week, this month's Loot Crate, or this delivery. It's like every other month. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.